What's going on guys? Welcome to another opposition preview. Today I'm joined from Joe from All Leeds TV. Hello Joe, thanks for joining me and you know what? Leeds have come back to the Premier League but they're not really struggling and you've mm. managed to get points against City. You gave a good go against Liverpool. So how's it all been like so far? Oh great mate. Uh, amazing return to the, to the Premier League after 16 long years. Um, if I'm honest, I, I fully expected us to do bits like that again. Just just due to Bielsa ball and the style of play that he, he you know adopts, and I think it's better suited to the Premier League. You know, we're not facing um, teams that are just going to sit in and, and put eleven men behind the ball. We are going to find space. We are going to have time on the ball to 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 create scoring chances, and and that's proved to be the case. So I'm genuinely not surprised, but also you know. Just amazed at, at, at the level. I mean, did I expect us to give Liverpool and City as good a game as I, I, as we did? Probably not. You know, I did think we'd be fine, but it just shows the the level of coaching um, that that Bielsa had that he can make really on an individual basis. These players don't match up to to many teams in the Premier League. You know, they're they're a lot weaker on an individual basis, but um, Bielsa he just makes them. He makes them better and it's it's more about the team as opposed to the individuals and yeah just amazing start and this is what i love about bielsa and i want to quickly go and talk about him now of course everyone's heard about him we know that he's a brilliant coach but i don't think everyone exactly knows his philosophy and the way he manages his team so if you can tell us and on how he approaches the games and what we can expect from him that would be brilliant because I love the way that... When you look at the lead squad, and I mean this, you know, with all due respect, I don't think you've got amazing players. Like, mm. uh, and we haven't as well at Palace, but he gets the best out of the players, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, it's it, it, His attention to detail genuinely is second to none. Um, you know, it, he'll, he'll know, for example, he'll know... Um, you know, Crystal Palace is under 23s. Do you know what I mean? This is this is the attention to detail that the man has. I mean, when he first signed at Leeds United, when they went out to Argentina uh, to, to get him to sign on the dotted line, he'd already watched every single game of the championship season, the previous one before. Um, he knew each individual player, uh, who he wanted to go, who he wanted to keep, what he was going to expect from each individual player. You know, his attention to detail is absolutely second to none. Um, Bielsa ball is just amazing. I've never seen football like it. I'm so, um, so, so happy for it. You know, I think whenever I watched other Premier League games, I'm, I'm bored. I'm bored because I'm used to, you know, high octane, high energy football. You know, um, man marking system all over the pitch, um, and and full backs bombing on. You know, it, it, honestly, it's it's a joy to watch. And uh, I mean, it just comes down to his attention to detail. I mean, um, and each individual knowing where they fit in the system. If we have an injury, someone comes straight in. I mean, he's turned, just to say, for example, Calvin Phillips. Calvin Phillips was a player that Leeds United players probably would have been happy with us moving on. Maybe not happy, but would have accepted him mm. moving on when Bielsa came in because he hadn't been great. You know, he came through with a crop of players um, like Sam Byram, uh, Lewis Cook. Uh, Charlie Taylor, who went to play Premier League football before him, and he was maybe the weaker of that cohort of players. And Bielsa's come in and turned him into a defensive midfielder where he's never played before, and he's now playing for England. So that just shows you the the turn up in form of, of some of these players. Yeah, and it's not only um, Calvin Phillips, it's Patrick Bamford as well. I mean, he's yeah. been a threat in front of goal. And yeah. we've seen him at Palace five years ago. I know it's a long time. But mm. he's showing, you no, know, he didn't show any glimpses of what he's showing right now, what he's doing in the Premier League. So mm. is that just down to Patrick Bamford maturing or is that down to Bielisa just getting the best out of him? Yeah, I think I think a lot, a lot of it's on, on Bielsa's shoulders, If in my own personal opinion. He's been shown faith as well. Maybe he's not had that in previous uh, clubs, you know, Norwich Palace, for example, Burnley. Um, he, he did have a decent time at Borough and Karanka had faith in him. And I think that's what it boils down to. You know, I know he hasn't really had the best relationship with previous managers. Maybe you can tell me more of it, uh, you know, about his time at Palace, how it works out there. Um, but, but at Leeds United, I mean, look, in the championship, there was times when he couldn't hit a barn door, genuinely. And Bielsa kept the faith. 
Um, you know, there was fans asking for him to be dropped, but Bielsa kept the faith. And um, what he does for the side as well, uh, other than scoring, you know, he, he runs all day, does so much. He's, he's full of pressing and he does everything that, that Bielsa asks him to do on the pitch. And look, he's now getting his rewards as well. I mean, he's scored six goals in the Premier League. There'll have been fans of not only opposition teams, but Leeds United who wouldn't have expected him to get that after seven games, believe me. So he's, he's probably surprised a lot of us, you know. Um, but, I mean, his finishes against Aston Villa were absolutely spectacular, some of them. Um, but then with Paddy, you take the rough with a smooth because against Leicester, for me, he missed two, two chances. So he is a bit in and out at times, but he's had a great start to life in the Premier League. Yeah, it's not only him. Any other players that you pick out for that we should watch out in this game? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Mateus Click. Uh, Mateus Click, Mr. Consistent Polish, in, uh, Polish International. Um, top player. Top, top player. Um, of course, you have to watch out for the for the full-backs as well. Luke Kaling, Stuart Dallas. Sp specifically, Luke Kaling likes to get forward. Probably spends more time in the opposition box than he does in his own half, if I'm honest. So you have to be... Be mindful of that. Unfortunately, Rodrigo, our, our Spanish international signing, he's um, uh, he's uh, self isolating through coming into contact with with someone through COVID. So he won't actually make the weekend. He was a massive loss last night. Um, so he'll be a big loss for Saturday as well. So that's a, that's a plus for Crystal Palace fans. Um, yeah, uh, of course, ha Jack Harrison as well on loan from Man City. Special talent, just got better and better. And uh, the centre back Robin Cock as well. He's he, he's had a bit of a uh, an up down, you know, topsy turvy start to life in the Premier League, but he's a he's a very good centre back, you know, a German international, um, and some someone I, I rate very highly. And uh, yeah, there's there's a few individuals in there, but like you've mentioned any uh, earlier, it's more about the team at Leeds United. We don't have say, if you look at Crystal Palace, Zaha, you know, he's that mm. he's that standout player. You know, we we probably don't have that at Leeds United. Yeah, and then let's talk about tactics. So we talked about. Bills uh, having, you know, having this philosophy of just concentrating on every little detail. But in terms of how, uh, in terms of the football that you're going to play, what can we expect? Is it going to be possession? Is it going to be, you know, um, fullback just going down the wing and supporting the attackers? What we, what should we watch out for? Yeah, I, I fully expect us to line up four one four one. Um, but but like you said, we we play a man marking system all over the pitch. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I think Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker said before on a podcast, it's like a basketball match, you know. If you're if Zaha moved from left to right, then then know that the full back will go from left to right with him. You know, there's man marking all over. Um, it's it's high possession. You know, we had more possession than Man City, more possession than Liverpool. That doesn't happen very often, but we, we'll likely see a lot of the ball. Um, we'll look to overload on the wings, you know, with, with the wingers and the full-backs, get our full-backs up high uh, and get balls into the box, you know. Um, and, yeah, just press, you know, high-octane press um, when... when Palace do have the ball. Know that the that will be will be hunting them down and uh, looking to looking to nick the ball away and then uh, you know create chances from the wings. That's that's normally the the style of play we adopt. So how do we how does Palace approach this then? How do we get the best out of Leeds because you're going to be man marking us? Is there any weaknesses that we should be targeting? Yeah, I mean, look, last night against Leicester, we lost four one. Um, Leicester had the perfect foil for our style of play. Um, you know, they put men behind the ball. Um, they, they, they nicked the ball. Admittedly, we were sloppy. We, we couldn't string passes. But when errors were made, um, they, they capitalised on that fast on the counter-attack, you know, playing it into the space in behind so that Vardy and Barnes could run onto it. And and I think that's... I know Crystal Palace are a, a pretty counter-attacking side. You don't see a lot of the ball. I might be wrong, but from what I've read, you know, you don't create a lot of... Goal scoring opportunities as well at time I've seen there's not a lot of you know shots on target of late. Um but yeah, I think look Zaha is gonna be key, Townsend's gonna be key, you know, they've both got pace to burn, you know, on the wings. And uh, I think if you do nick the ball away, get it to your ball players, you know, and and, and get them to to I guess put it in the space in behind and, and have the likes of Zaha and Townsend running onto it. So what's your expectations for this season? You've you've had a good start to the season. Yeah. Is it just staying up or is it mid table? What what do you want to see? Uh, of course, I want to stay in the division. That's yeah. that's the main thing. But me, I think we'll go better than that. I genuinely do. I look at I look at Sheffield United last season. I look at Wolves at previous seasons, knocking on the door of Europe, and I don't think we'll be that far off. 
uh, if I'm being totally honest. Um, there will be games where we will be on the end of hidings. You know, we've seen that last night. Um, it may have, um, you know, it maybe wasn't a 4-1 game, but ultimately we'll find at times where we do lose the ball and people are are able to, to counter us with quick transitions that we will concede a few. Um, but I think over the course of the season, we'll be fine. I mean, look, there's a lot being made about can they keep it up over a season? People forget that we had two seasons in the championship with Bielsa. You know, you be, as you know yourself, you play 46 games, you know, in that division, not 38, you know. Mm -hmm. um, by this time last season, we'd already played almost double the amount of games we have now, you know. So so the, we will be able to keep up the, the pace and frenetic style um, throughout the season. And I think we'll cause a lot of upsets, you know. Um, we uh, Top half for me, top half. I, I, and, it, and if we can... Keep it up, then maybe knocking on the door of Europe. I don't see why not. See, that's just brilliant. <laughs> it hurts <laughs> as well. I'll be honest, it hurts as well in a way that with Palace, we've been in the Premier League for eight years, and mm. this season my expectation is just to stay up. And you just <laughs> and, and you're just looking at it, you're like, you know what, what is the point? I'd rather we give it a go as well and give mm. it a try. But talking about Palace, what do you make of this Palace side under Roy Hodgson? What do you think that they could go and achieve? Because with the Palace fan base, we're like 50-50. Some people are saying Roy's doing a good job. People like me saying that, you know what, let him stay till the end of the season, then let's move on because he's just too scared to play football at times. Mm. And, you know, we've got, when you look at the league squad, you haven't got great, great players, but Palace haven't also got great, great players. But then when you, if you put Bielsa on this Palace side, then you might see us getting more results. Yeah. So a manager is very important. So what do you see about this Palace side? And do you think that there is enough talent for us to actually go and push on even mid-table or top half? I mean, look, I, I'm not going to sit here and profess to say that I've seen a lot of Crystal, you know, Crystal Palace this season or in previous seasons. But, you know, I was uh, we do a, a review show, um, a preview show on a Friday and a re review show on a Monday. And uh, I remember remember seeing that I think you'd had your, your your highest possession of the season so far in, in, in the last game you won. And it was only like 36 percent or something like that. You may be able to correct me if I'm wrong. And I was like, wow. <laughs> yeah, we don't um, keep the ball. Yeah, 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 and um, you know, not a lot of shots on goal. I believe. Um, I, I think that seems to be the case. Look, I think from I, I go into this game with a lot of confidence. You know, it may be misplaced. You know, maybe getting ahead of myself. Um, but I think stop Wilf, Wilfred Zaha and, and and we'll be fine. And, and 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 maybe that's you know naive. Maybe that's wrong. And, and Crystal Palace fans might might disagree, but I think we'll have enough to, to be able to compete. As for, as for Palace, I mean, Roy Hodgson's a defensive coach, isn't he? Um, you are right, you know. Um, I, I think Bielsa, or, or you get a better coach. Uh, I, I think it's changing football slightly in that, you know, we're not just expecting managers to come in and shore up the defence and stay in the league. It's more about what we can get out of the individuals we have, you know. And, and I see with Bielsa the real importance of a coach because I keep bringing it back. He's made probably bang at Maybe I've been doing them a disservice, but pretty average players into very, very good players, you know, just with the tactics that he employs. Um, look, mid-table, um, yeah, may, maybe so. But like you say, being in the division eight years, I'm thinking from a Leeds United perspective, one season in, consolidate, we kick on. I want to be in Europe in three three seasons' time. You know what I mean, but, Daddy? So Yeah, yeah. But it depends on the owners, doesn't it? I don't know about yeah. your owners, but... Do they have the ambition to go forward? Because it feels like at Palace, because we're, we're trying to get Category 1 Academy football, we're trying to build a new stand, it mm. seems like they're content with staying up. With Leeds, mm. is that the case? Or do you think that they have ambition as well to go and push forward? Yeah, I mean, well, at the start of this season, we we, we made our Academy Category 1. Um, mm. we've, we've started to, you know, just to show the difference, you know. We made our academy uh, category one. Uh, Rad Razani, look, he doesn't have, have hatfuls of cash, but he's he's always willing to take on investment from the 49ers. We've previously linked with, um, you know, owners in Qatar that, that have ties to PSG. So he might not have a lot of money, but he, he's more than willing to take on investment and take the club forward. And look, the fact that they brought Bielsa in shows you all the... All, all you need to know about this management team, you know, we have a great director of football in Victor Orta who's brought in some top players, you know. Let's not forget we brought in Rodrigo, who's Spain's number nine, you know. We brought in Robin Koch, who's a fully-fledged German international. Um, we've brought in Rafinha uh, from Wren. He was injured last night, but hopefully we'll make the bench on Saturday. He's someone to be wary of, you know. he He's turned down uh, Champions League football with Wren. 
you know, to, to come to Leeds in, in the Premier League. So that shows, you know, um, the, the project that's been built at Leeds United, that when these players are speaking with Bielsa and, and the management team, they're thinking, this is the right club for me. This is a club that is moving forward. You know, how many teams do you know that come up from the Premier League and are signing Spain's number nine? You know, so yeah. it, it, it's it's really good business. Yeah. And then finally, what's your lineup and your score prediction for the game? Uh, lineup um, will go uh, Ilian Melier in goal, uh, Alien at right back, uh, Cock and Cooper at centre back, uh, left back Stuart Dallas in front of them. I hope Pascal Strout comes back in. Calvin Phillips is currently injured. He's out for six weeks. Um, we played Click there last night. It didn't really work for me, so I would like to see um, Pascal Strout come in there. Um, in the eight. Click and uh, in uh, in the uh, in the ten, as it were. Um, I would I would like to see Pablo. I'd like Rodrigo, but obviously he's self isolating. On each wing, you'll have Harrison Costa on the right, and then uh, Paddy Bamford leading the line. Um, as for a score prediction, um, I, I'm I'm going to go for a, a two nil Leeds United away win. Um, that's the way I see it going. <laughs> I, don't, I don't blame you. I don't blame you honestly because I'm predicting. You know what I was thinking throughout the week, and now. We're talking about it and we're talking about his philosophy and how you guys are going to approach the game. I think we're going to struggle massively um, because it's, of course, we've seen teams put us under pressure for seven years in the Premier League, but with Bielsa, it's kind of different. So I expect you guys to go and beat us 2 1. Um, it's going to be one of them games where Pass are just going to struggle to keep ball. But unless we, you know, put guys on a counter attack and make sure that we use the pace of Zaha mm. we would not have much chance but that's a massive if let's see if Palace mm. can do that but look thank you for joining me Joe it was a fascinating chat about Leeds um, great team and make sure to check out their channel as well all Leeds TV to see their content I'll be there as well talking about from a Palace perspective of the game and until next time up the Palace <laughs>